So welcome back to the Rock Shaven Heart channel. Second video for today. Very important video for this channel as it is the 100th upload uh, video for this channel. And it happens to fall on Friday the 13th, November 2020. I have filmed one video already this morning about cancel culture, trying to cancel the Mandalorian over baby Yoda or the child eating frog lady's eggs. Wow. Friday the 13th off to a great start, right? <laughs> so I get my, op my opinion on that, and it was my reaction video to that. So go ahead and look in my previous video for that. But uh, I just wanted to get one more out today because it is Friday the 13th. I didn't want to miss out on that opportunity. It is also, um, I couldn't wait to make some kind of content to uh, get to that 100th video before I got to go to do my daily crap for the day. Uh, my events of what I got to do, go to work, that kind of thing. Um, so I thought it'd be pretty good to kind of slide one in there right now and talk about uh, Friday the 13th, 2020, coronavirus year, uh, all that fun stuff. It has been a hard year for my life personally. It has been one of the hardest years of my entire life, completely unrelated to the coronavirus uh, pandemic, world shutdown, lockdown, all of that. For me, it was a terrible year as far as um, my personal life goes. My personal life was so affected by this year that I had lost my job thanks to the virus. However, this virus has come in handy plenty of times, believe it or not, throughout this year to my convenience because of my lost job. It stalled out evictions. It stalled out um, my ability to pay rent, so of course, evictions. It has stalled out um, a lot of different things, but it also made door dashing very popular, which was something I fell into after um, my position had been canceled due to uh, the virus situation. So, whew. What a year. We saw President Trump, I guess, uh, lose a seat to the throne to uh, Joe Biden. Never thought that was going to happen in a million years. Hmm. So 2020 was poised to be his year again, right? Well, I'm not going to give my opinion on that right now. This isn't what this video is about. I wasn't going to get into po politics because personally politics are something I do not give a damn about my life is already stressful enough that I do not have the energy to stress out about politics in addition to everything else I have to personally deal with that being said I learned from the last election not to get too involved in that or else I lose a lot of important people in my life uh, friends and family included go figure over an opinion based difference but that's been what 2020 has been all about it's the flare-up of cancel culture trying to take out the best thing that's happened this year baby Yoda aka the child from the TV show by Disney Star Wars the Mandalorian <clears throat> now it started out really good I really enjoyed the fact that babe that the uh, Mandalorian came out it's been the best uh, thing for me uh, is a distraction to all the crap going on in the world all the crap going on in my life so I'm very grateful for the Mandalorian I'm very grateful for the creators there I am very grateful for everybody involved in the production of that show and it took forever to get the merchandise out I like how they uh, delayed profit for that impactful punch kudos to you guys now <clears throat> it's November it's Friday the 13th it's the middle of November the year is almost over holy crap we've made it this far those of you who are lucky enough to be alive through the pandemic you should be grateful stop trying to cancel everything if anything cancel the virus so we can all go back to our normal lives however <laughs> That being said, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching 
the Rocks Robin Heart channel. Thanks for uh, leaving your comments on my videos. Thanks for increasing my view count. Um, this is the Thanksgiving, I guess, episode because I, I don't know if I'm going to do an official Thanksgiving episode. I don't know. At least not like this. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But I am in habit of almost daily videos, give or take. There are events going on in my life that do make things a little more difficult for me to upload daily. But when I do upload, I do try to get a couple videos in at a time. Um, I am practicing more with my editing of videos. I do prefer doing the one-shot clean-through videos. But I, I'm playing around with new apps on my phone uh, using InShot, uh, using Chimera to edit the, the photos uh, and add text and things like that. I use an InShot to combine the footage into one video and upload it to YouTube. So there's that. I'm playing around with TikTok. Um, I'm thinking of releasing the Death and JJ series on TikTok rather than exclusively for YouTube because my puppet show just seems a little bit more suitable for TikTok's format and as opposed to vlogging. I don't otherwise know what I'm going to do with TikTok, but uh, my daughter signed me up for it and I'm playing around with it and I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers say that that's like a really good way to get over uh, and get traffic to your YouTube channel so I'm trying it out but I'm not gonna dance on TikTok I'm not gonna shake what I got on TikTok so I don't really know what to do with TikTok and then I did come up with the idea of using my puppets for the TikTok uh, Rocks Revan Heart whatever you want to call it channel or whatever um, so there's that uh, I am continuing to upload regularly I am trying not to be so long-winded. I am trying to uh, throw in some edited content, you know, little images here and there now that I'm playing around with InShot, which has been a really fun app to play with. It has a lot of features that are free. Uh, just had to watch an ad to get rid of their watermark, which that was cool, and I don't have to pay for nothing, and, you know, I'm cheap. For now, I'm cheap. Uh, I don't have a budget for anything extra in my life thanks to 2020 so I have to do everything on the cheap to my van build of building out a van using all recycled materials that I find from around the neighborhood to uh, what I do in my bedroom I built my own bed using recycled materials that I find through the neighborhood using what I can get off of the marketplace for free uh, or cheap so that's me uh, 2000 20 has been a hell of a year and I'm not projecting 2021 to be a whole lot better but let's just hope that it will be and I mean you saw the election flip so maybe that's a sign um, which direction things go from here I don't know but th stop picking on baby Yoda find something else to do with yourselves there cancel culture um, happy Thanksgiving if I don't do another video related to that uh, I'm grateful for a lot of things, so maybe you can tell me what you're grateful for in the comments below. Uh, how have you survived this 2020? Um, I'll probably maybe do a New Year's video on that topic. I don't know. But anyway, I am trying to keep these shorter, and I'm failing to do that already in this video alone. And my last video was really long-winded due to my over-concern of how to piece the file footage together. I was trying to get the screen captures from my computer of... Of the Vanity Fair article over to the video and it just didn't work out that way um, so I improvised and I used this InShot app to kind of squeeze in some imagery just toying around with it uh, I was once a video editor but I'm very rusty it's been a long time probably too long since technology's changed uh, dramatically since I last edited videos uh, so that's it I'm getting used to being in front of the camera I'm trying to speak louder. I still have not figured out my microphone situation, what piece I'm missing to connect my microphone directly to this camera and actually be heard. So I'm using the onboard microphone and it makes my voice sound a little pitched or whatever. I don't know. I'm trying. I am trying everybody and I'm trying hard to play around with what I have for my options in my given world. And there's still a lot of creative projects on the table that I can't wait to release that I'm working steadily on. 
So stay tuned for that, from the puppet show, to the van builds, to the music that I'm writing, and to these vlogs. I am kind of cutting down uh, a couple of the playlists. I'm thinking of getting rid of a few things, such as the guilty pleasures. I, I'm just going to cram that content into just the open vlog. Uh, I don't really see any reason to split it up and make it more specific when I'm kind of doing that with these vlogs anyway. Um, man, this background is looking really really funny color <clears throat> so thank you for watching subscribe ring the bell whatever if you've enjoyed any of my content please leave comments <clears throat> i know this gets really uh redundant to hear from every youtuber but i guess it's the standard thing to say and do and i'm practicing it and we'll see what happens with it and thank you for watching see you later hater